Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at QuickBooks pricing. How much does QuickBooks cost? Now in this video, we're going to be primarily diving into QuickBooks online pricing, but we'll also be briefly covering QuickBooks self-employed as well as QuickBooks desktop if you're curious in the pricing for those products as well from QuickBooks. Now before we dive into the QuickBooks pricing comparisons, taking a look at the different plans that are currently available and the pricing that follows. Follows. I do want to mention you go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks that will take you right over to this page here where you can actually get signed up with a special discount, a special QuickBooks savings as a QuickBooks partner that I have available to you guys. For those of you guys watching this video, this can be a special savings just for you guys watching this video. Of course, you can actually save, as you can see here, 30% on QuickBooks for six months currently. And this is, you know, 20% more over six months compared to the standard new customer discount. So this is the special discount just for QuickBooks partners. So again, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below, brandleski.com forward slash QuickBooks. If you're interested, in getting signed up. This is a great way to help out and support the channel. And it is a special discount if you do want to save more money over that longer period. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the QuickBooks pricing plans and the different options that are currently available. Also, again, I will also be breaking down self-employed and desktop a little bit as well. So primarily the main focus of this is to take a look at QuickBooks online pricing. Now, QuickBooks online has been around for quite a long time. Intuit is the parent company of QuickBooks and QuickBooks really is one of the best accounting softwares that you can use not only just for small businesses, mi small, mid, larger size businesses, uh, but really QuickBooks primarily aims their marketing towards, of course, self-employed. And at the end of the day, they do have great software. Now, really, which plan is best for most people? It is going to depend on the level of your business, as well as what you specifically need within your accounting solution, of course. So, Let's go ahead and dive into things. So of course, the four different plans that QuickBooks offers, you have Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, and Advanced. Now, for most people getting started with QuickBooks, Simple Start is really all that you need. That's personally what I use in my small business. It just, that's what most people really would make sense for uh, is the simple start. Now, this is going to be slightly more expensive than an op option like QuickBooks Self-Employed. We'll get into that a little bit later because uh, I do want, there are some caveats with that as well, but simple start is really the most base level plan that makes sense for most small business owners. It just makes the most sense overall for most people, uh, depending on what your needs are. Now, this is the regular QuickBooks plans. Again, I do want to also preface this with saying that all of this pricing is subject to change. Of course, whenever you're watching this video, this is the accurate pricing as of the time of making this video. This is subject to change. Of course, this pricing may look a little bit different when you're looking at it, but as far as what the different plans and breakdowns detail, uh, it should be pretty consistent there. Now, as far as the simple start, you know, it's best for most people just getting started, okay? So as far as what you get, as far as the differences between essentials, so at essentials, uh, you get all the basics again so you get the free guided setup that's a new thing that they're starting to offer as you can see here you have income and expenses uh invoice and payments tax deductions general reports receipt capture mileage tracking cash flow sales and sales tax estimates contractors and connecting one sales channel now we're not going to be diving into all of the different details of each of these features again this is just a quickbooks pricing overview video more specifically comparing the plans not necessarily every single feature that QuickBooks has to offer. Uh, so once you go from simple start to essentials, you get a little bit more. So you have more users, you have bill management and entering time. So if you need to do time tracking, uh, this could be good if you are trying to track clients or projects and add it into your invoicing. If you don't really use the invoicing feature, then again, simple start is probably still fine for you. Uh, but if you are using their QuickBooks invoicing feature, which is really solid, uh, then the essentials can make sense for you, at least with the time management aspect, as well as uh, some of the bill management, uh, depending on how your business is structured and how you get paid from vendors. Uh, you do also have more users. So if you are just beyond one person, uh, if you're 
you have multiple employees, maybe if you have someone else managing your accounting, or if you have someone doing your bookkeeping, at least especially for bookkeeping is most prevalent, uh, having more users could be beneficial for you in that respect. Uh, you know, not a ton of differences really between Simple Start and Essentials other than having a few more user seats. Uh, when you go up to the plus, you also get five users. Uh, you also have inventory uh, and project profitability. So again, depending on your business, maybe if you're in construction or something like that, project profitability makes a little bit more sense. Uh, for those types of business owners, uh, I've seen, I know I see in the comments, some of you guys are in the construction industry, so maybe that makes sense for you. Uh, if you're doing inventory, maybe a lot of you guys watching this channel are into e-commerce. If you're doing inventory, this can make a lot of sense for you, uh, jumping up to see, um, you know, tracking your products and you can, you can sync this with Shopify as well, uh, as far as your overall inventory management setup. So plus could be good for you in that respect. Uh, and then they also have advanced. Now advanced is quite a bit more expensive than the other options, uh, but you do get a lot more of the automations and uh, batching things. Uh, this makes a lot more sense if you're a much larger business, more than five user users as well. Uh, so, you know, for most people, you don't necessarily need this, uh, but you do get some of the premium apps. Again, as you can see here, you can do things in batch more. You can do employee expenses, so you can sort of take care of that expensify type setup uh, if you're expensing things in there as well. So that could help you at least eliminate an additional subscription cost if you're doing expense reports uh, within your QuickBooks. That's something else you can do there. Uh, you also have business analytics with Excel, so you can uh, track things and create custom insights. So if you're a larger business and you need more of the advanced functionality, maybe if you want, you know, some of the more automations, workflows, premium apps, uh, even data restoration, which is pretty cool as well, uh, then maybe advanced makes sense for you. Um, and then if you're interested in payroll, that is an additional optional add-on that you can add uh, to your business uh, software for QuickBooks, you would just add the payroll as an optional uh, add-on to your regular pricing. So uh, that is an optional add-on. Uh, we're not gonna be diving into the QuickBooks payroll setup here, but I just wanted to mention that it's an optional add-on that you can do. Um, so it is worth considering there as well. Now, as far as the other QuickBooks products that they have to offer. I do want to make some quick comparisons as well to self-employed and desktop because I know a lot of you guys watching this video are like, well, maybe I don't want Simple Start. Maybe you want something a little bit different because I know Simple Start makes the most sense for most people. Or again, like I mentioned, maybe if you fall into some of these other categories, then Essentials Plus or Advanced could make sense for you. Self-employed, I want to preface, and even desktop too, are completely separate products from QuickBooks Online completely separate, completely separate products. So the whole entire setup is different. Most people, it, it, it makes most sense just to go with QuickBooks Online because you get the app, the syncing, the functionality, everything with QuickBooks Online, especially Simple Start. That's like what most people should go for. But self-employed and desktop do make sense for some people, but it is a separate product. And it is a little bit challenging if you ever want to make that switch up to QuickBooks Online from QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Self-Employed. They've made it easier over time to make that migration happen if you ever want to upgrade or you know change over, do a product change, but it's a little bit of work. It's still going to take you a bit of time and a little bit of work to do that migration. Um, it's possible and they've made it easier over time, but I do want to preface that. QuickBooks Self-Employed is great for people who may be want to save a little bit of money. It is the cheapest uh, QuickBooks that is available. Uh, so as you can see here, it's good for self-starters, small businesses. Uh, so you can see the plans and pricing. Uh, it makes it easy to separate, you know, personal and business transactions. So maybe if you are uh, self-employed, maybe an independent contractor, uh, you get a 1099. Or if you're a freelancer, then QuickBooks Self-Employed could make sense for you. They do also have these other uh, TurboTax bundles, which is nice as well, uh, just to save you a little bit of money there for paying for, you know, your your taxes as well. Whenever you go to pay your taxes, you you know, obviously Intuit TurboTax. Uh, it, the syncing is nice between those softwares and you do get a little bundle discount, which is cool if you're interested in that. But this really only makes sense for people that don't ever 
plan on going from self-employed to other tax classifications or or not necessarily tax identifications, but other business structures. So maybe if you not a tax election and again, not tax advice here, but uh, if you ever go from being self-employed to maybe an LLC or something like an S corp, or if you ever make the jump to go to those other different business structures, again, a business structure um, change, then you're going to be a little bit of an odd pickle here with using the self-employed because self-employed is really only designed for people that are, uh, hence the term self-employed or a sole proprietor where they are just separating business and personal expenses. Uh, you know, that's fine. And that's great for people that are in that scenario. Uh, and you can save a little bit of money, but in the long run, if you ever plan to make that jump, it will be maybe a little bit more challenging and it's not as well optimized for people that are ever planning to make that potential jump. So that's something to consider, at least with QuickBooks Self-Employed, but the pricing is pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. So overall, pretty solid setup here with QuickBooks Self-Employed. Now comparing things to QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Desktop has sort of been sunsetted in the recent years. Now it's still available because a lot of people still like it for inventory management, it's going to be your most expensive option in most cases. And you're probably better off just going with book, QuickBooks Online, uh, whether it be Plus or Simple Star or Advanced, or you know, if you're comparing maybe their Desktop Premier Plus versus Desktop Enterprise, it, it, it's no, gone are the days where you could buy one year of QuickBooks uh, software, say the 2021 edition, and keep with it forever. It, those are days are gone because of modern subscriptions and signing up for things on a monthly basis. And companies love that, so they want that monthly recurring revenue, right? As a SaaS company, as a software as a service company, they love monthly recurring revenue. That M MRR. So ultimately, QuickBooks Desktop, it's they want you to go to QuickBooks Online, and that's fine uh, for most people, but you can still pay for the desktop version if you're interested in the more advanced features that it has. You're gonna be paying for it, uh, especially with Dex Desktop Enterprise, but they at least still make it available, but it is an annual subscription, so it's something to consider again. Um, Maybe consider the other QuickBooks Online options, but if you still want desktop, I just want to mention in this video that it is still available, uh, but it is going to be probably the most expensive option uh, overall. So, you know, most people, QuickBooks Online still makes the most sense overall. Uh, when you're looking at getting started with QuickBooks, again, the simple start is great for most people. That's what I personally use and like to use in my business. So guys, again, if you are interested in getting signed up with QuickBooks, you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brandonvaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks. That will take you right over here where you can get access to special QuickBooks savings and save 30% on QuickBooks for six months which is 20% more over six months compared to the standard new customer discount that they offer you just by going through their homepage. So, you know, feel free, sign up. It's a great way to support the channel. And guys, I hope you found this QuickBooks pricing comparison video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.